Most importantly, you know, the biggest factor in, in the wins this year um, and the difference is the leadership that we have this year. We have three captains that are doing a phenomenal job and, you know, just sticking to the little things and knowing that those things are the important things in getting us those one goal wins. A lot of those that we've had and turned that around from what we had last year where we weren't winning those one goal games. So I think, you know, a lot of that has to do with leadership and, and the second part of that is because of the leadership, you know, the work ethic that's being put in place by, you know, all the girls on the team. I mean, they certainly have, you know, scored an, a, a great number of our goals, and I think, you know, a lot of that is predicated to the skill of all three of those players. You know, all three of them, when they're working together, you know, they're hard to stop. Um, but secondly, I, I don't feel we really have any second, third, or fourth lines. We have, you know, a team of 19 girls who, you know, all of them are very good, and, and we can keep coming at people with whoever we've got on the ice, and, and I'm not worried about putting any of our players out there. So, you know, with that being said, you know, we have one line that's scoring goals, but we also have second, third, and fourth lines, so to speak, that are, you know, any of them can produce. And, and because of that, it takes the pressure off of our first line, and, and so I think they're just able to play out there. And then, you know, our defense, you know, they're doing a great job of getting the puck up the ice and, and moving the puck quickly and taking shots from the blue line, and a lot of that is stuff that we've been working on. But, you know, I think everybody just trusts each other on the ice, and, and because of the trust level, it's, it's allowed us to have success. I think, you know, the most important thing for the two of them is that in practice they've challenged our team to score. So because in practice they're playing hard in practice, um, it's, it's made us, you know, harder to score in practice. Therefore, we know we have to work hard in games to score goals, and it's hard to score goals in this league. And, um, you know, the one thing about them is they are both freshmen, so it is an adjustment when you, you know, pick up all these new things, you move away from home, and they are both live very far away from home. They're not, you know, they're not from around here. So they had to adjust and, and grow up and, and kind of get accustomed to life how it is here in Duluth and at St. Scholastica and kind of all the responsibilities that go along with it. So, you know, as you know, as a goaltender, you put a lot of more pressure on yourself, and, and when you're having to go through the classes and everything is new to them, you know, it's going to take them a while to adjust, and we knew that. Um, but now both of them, you know, they both have very different, you know, things that they're very good at and we, we really like the combination of the both of them and, and we just really are excited about the fact that they're going to be here for four years. So, you know, I think it's, you know, it's a great tribute to the both of their work ethic and their skill, but at the same time, I think our team really values both of them at the same time because, you know, they're both, they both bring different things to the table. <laughs> I think, you know, the most important thing is sticking to what has brought us success all along and, and like I said, doing the little things and being staying attention to detail and practice and not getting away from anything that we've been doing, you know, all the way leading up to this point. And, you know, it gets tough because the season gets really long and as you know, you know, it, it's it's towards the end of January and, and those girls have been a around each other for a long time. So it's maintaining, you know, that teamwork and, and kind of what the end focus for us is. Um, you know, as, as in terms of our league and who we've got left, I think, you know, last weekend it was quite obvious that, you know, you've got your ninth place team in Eau Claire and they tied R River Falls, who is, you know, one of the top teams in the country. And so it doesn't matter who we're playing in our league. It's any given night anybody can win. And I just think that's, that's the fun part of our league is that it's so competitive and you can't really take anybody, you know, at, at a relaxed pace because you know that no matter who you're playing, you know, it's, it's a ma matter of how we bring ourselves to the table and, and what we play every night because any team we're playing against they have the ability to beat us at any given night and, and so I think it's more, most importantly focusing on us and what we do well and kind of making sure we stay consistent you know game in and game out for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm.